Amazing historical facts you haven't heard about. Once upon a time, turkeys were prayed to as gods. The Maya at the turn of our era called turkeys vessels of God and kept them in their homes not for food, but to participate in religious rituals, considering them symbols of power and prosperity. Olympic medals were also once given to artists. And that wasn't so long ago. From 1912 to 1948, the Olympic Games included art competitions where medals were awarded in painting, sculpture, architecture, literature, and music. Napoleon ran in front of a herd of rabbits. Legend has it that the great commander was once forced to turn around by a herd of rabbits. 3,000 animals were brought to Napoleon for the hunt, which promised to be a simple exercise in marksmanship. But it did not go according to plan. As soon as the servants opened the cages, the rabbits in mass rushed towards the emperor. Stunned by the onslaught, Napoleon fled in shame, leaving the field to the rabbits. A century ago, women in New York City were fined for smoking in public. Until 1908, New York City had the Sullivan Act, which prohibited women from smoking in public. The last person to be fined was Kathy Mulcahy in 1908, who had to pay $5 in court for the infraction. The U.S. government poisoned thousands of people for violating prohibition. During Prohibition, the U.S. government began pouring poison into industrial alcohol so that it would not be stolen from factories by amateur bootleggers. During the years of this practice, until Prohibition was abolished in 1933, about 10,000 people were poisoned by poisonous industrial alcohol. Captain Morgan really existed. The famous rump Captain Morgan was named after the pirate Henry Morgan, who was famous for his good fortune in battles, was knighted for the damage he did to Spain, and died a rich man in Jamaica in 1688. Using a fork was once considered blasphemy. The first forks appeared in Italy in the 11th century, but for a long time the devout Christians of Europe avoided these instruments simply because they reminded believers of the devil's pitchfork. Fidel Castro is a champion of assassination attempts. Castro survived 600 attempts on his life. He was assassinated by everyone from criminals to political opponents to the U.S. government. The assassins used different tactics, from exploding cigars to poison diving suits. But none of the assassins ever succeeded. Cleopatra was not Egyptian. According to historians, the great Egyptian queen was Greek and belonged to the descendants of Ptolemy, a companion of Alexander the Great. The Roman church was at war with cats. In the 13th century, Pope Gregory IV declared black cats, as well as cats with black spots of any size or number, accomplices of the devil and ordered their extermination. A couple of decades later, this plan paid off for Catholic countries with mass outbreaks of dangerous diseases carried by rats, including the plague. In the 19th century, ketchup was sold as medicine. In 1834, Ohio physician John Cook began selling ketchup as a cure for indigestion. It was even said to help. It wasn't until the late 19th century that ketchup finally moved from the medicine cabinet to the kitchen. Abraham Lincoln was a champion wrestler. Despite his small stature and puny figure, Abraham Lincoln was a famous wrestler. He won the wrestling championship for his county and lost only one of more than 300 bouts during his wrestling career. His name can still be seen today in the United States Wrestling Hall of Fame. Lincoln was also a bartender. In 1833, Abraham Lincoln and his business partner William Berry opened a bar in Salem, Illinois. Alas, the place soon went out of business as Barry, being an alcoholic, destroyed almost all the stock. Edison did not invent the light bulb. Thomas Edison was a prolific inventor with 1093 patents for his inventions. But it was the British astronomer and chemist Warren de la Rue who invented the incandescent light bulb first, 40 years before Edison. Edison's light bulb was notable for its convenience and durability, for which he gained fame. George Washington traded in whiskey. After his presidency, George Washington retired and built himself a distillery where he successfully traded his own distilled whiskey. 
By 1799, it had become the largest in the country, producing 11,000 gallons of whiskey a year. Ronald Reagan believed in horoscopes. Ronald Reagan and his wife Nancy were fond of astrology and believed in horoscopes. Reagan, however, claimed that he made political decisions without looking to the will of the stars. Columbus was not the first European in America. In fact, the first European in America was the Scandinavian navigator Leif Erikson. He arrived on American shores in the 10th century, 500 years earlier than Columbus. Marie Antoinette never offered the people cakes if there was no bread. Jean-Jacques Rousseau wrote this phrase in his autobiography. Although he never said the Queen actually uttered it, the phrase was quickly attributed to her. Walt Disney did not draw Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse was drawn by cartoonist Ivers, while Disney owned the idea of the image and the voice of the mouse, which he personally voiced in the first cartoons. Cowboys did not wear cowboy hats. Stetsons with large fields were put on cowboys by Hollywood costumers in the first half of the 20th century. The real cowboys, the herdsmen and heroes of the 19th century frontier, however, preferred bowler hats, which the movie industry usually attributed to humble accountants and urban dandies. The first settlers did not flee to America for religious freedom. The Dutch Protestants on the Mayflower in the 17th century are thought to have moved to America to practice their faith freely. In fact, the opposite was true, they resented excessive religious freedom in the country. At that time in Holland it was allowed to practice Catholicism and Judaism, and even, horribly, to remain an atheist. Outraged by this freedom of manners, the Protestant Pilgrim Fathers on the Mayflower sailed for religious purity to the shores of America. The 1929 stock market crash in the United States did not generate a wave of suicides. It is believed that after the Black Tuesday crash of October 24, 1929, which triggered the Great Depression, bankrupt brokers threw themselves out of windows by the dozens. In fact, according to statistics, only two suicides were the result of Black Tuesday. The 12th President of the United States died after eating a cherry tree. The 12th President of the USA, Zachary Taylor, died after 16 months in office from gastroenteritis. Doctors said the illness began because the president ate too many cherries at an Independence Day celebration on July 4, 1850. Iron Maiden is fiction. The Iron Maiden, a metal sarcophagus studded with sharp nails on the inside, has long been thought to be a medieval torture and execution device. In fact, there is no reliable information about its use, and all known examples were not produced before the 18th century. Historians believe that the Iron Maiden is an invention of Enlightenment hoaxers. The Bloody Mary did not immediately get its name. At first, the vodka and tomato juice cocktail was simply called Blood Bucket, then Red Perch, and only after that it got the name by which it became known to the world. If you found the video interesting, don't be lazy to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It will be the best reward for me. See you in new and even more interesting videos on my channel.